can't be seen. Roll your A fight for the right to be number one. It's a coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, it's a battle of the top two teams in the AFC West, as it'll be the Oakland Raiders taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Oakland Raiders. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go play action here on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, they're forced the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said right down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got a bike. Oh, he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 15. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Oh, 
The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's airing it out for what? And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie from UVA, Juan Thornhill. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to try and go deep again. That's caught inside the 20. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. A big play that time for the Raiders. 61 yards. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Martin breaks a tackle. He won't go down, refusing to go down. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate down with a live, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Ryan Graham, his fifth touchdown now on the year, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Coaches must really. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. Cook throwing on first down. And he's got his tight end. This is Luke Wilson. And now look at him go. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Luke Wilson. 82 yards as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On the set. 53 is mine. Check. 53 is mine. We got two. To throw is Cook on first and 10. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Cook going to throw again. Going to look deep for Wilson. And that's caught inside the 35. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially, they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great. Let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit Pater. Got a man. It's Brown. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 14 yards is the pick up there at a Raider first. Let's go now. 70, Indy. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. Okay, well, so much for the halftime report here. Can't, guy can't even finish his Snickers. We're going to get right to the third quarter. Let me spit this out. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Here we go, here we go. 30 
On first down, Martin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go-around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now. And that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's a second and seven. That's complete to Richard, the running back. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Following the penalty, Martin. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may... And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Doug Martin hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Second effort there. He was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk. So this offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. All day, dog. 49, check 49, check 49. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. Kill, check up. They'll run on first down. It's Martin. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Check, check. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. This is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss. But with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. Here we go, D. All day, defense, all day, all day. Now. On first down. It's Martin. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll keep it on the ground. Martin. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Looking to throw. Cook. He gets it to Brown. Good play. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. It'll be first and goal when we come back. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. 
This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's Martin, and he's in! Touchdown, Raiders! Doug Martin, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Raiders able to extend that advantage. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns, but the bottom line is... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go, set. 90, Wolf. Here's Cook on first down. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Now Martin, and three yards there, takes him to the 45. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The throw complete here to Williams, and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 38-yard line. Like Antonio Brown, Tyrell Williams came to the Raiders in March. Came up the coast from L.A. where he caught 41 balls last year with the Chargers. His best year was 2016 when the Chargers were still in San Diego. Over 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns, and the Raiders really have high hopes for this 27-year-old receiver. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Down, and over. Leo, Leo, now. Another tote for the workhorse, Martin. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Ready, ready. 50, plant. You ain't going nowhere. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Look at me. Go up, go up. They'll keep it on the ground. Martin. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Switch, switch, switch. Running for it, here's Martin, and he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Doug Martin with his third touchdown of the ball game, number 12 on the season. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. And there's the go-ahead touchdown, and so likely will kick an extra point. But to me, I'm looking forward.
So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Set. 18, Gator. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up. Go on, go on. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Squeeze. Now a give, right side. It's Martin. Ooh, the juke. Got some room at the 30. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. Here we go. 15, one. On second down, it's Martin. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. now to throw on third down. He's going deep for Brown. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Final whistle blows and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days. To... And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for Kansas City, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. and three. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Oakland, they fall to 6-6 six and six now on the campaign. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.
hundreds. It's the coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see teams with a couple of running backs who each went over 100 yards a weekend to go, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Oakland Raiders. So with that, let's get out to the East Bay in Oakland, California. On the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, as the 2019 regular season starts speeding toward a conclusion, not too many games remain to be played here in Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Titans, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go, set. 60 out more. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field. The first carry now for Doug Martin. There goes Martin, first down and more. And he'll cut. There goes Doug Martin. The 20, 10. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A huge play there right off the bat. 73 yards. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Now the first round pick from Alabama, Josh Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Building confidence after a loss, that's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. And they can talk all day. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Here we go, here we go. AQ Gator. Oh, you got deep. Go. First down, here's the run with Martin. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and Check open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. And if you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time, when you do it consistently, usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. Looking to throw on second down. Cook. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Harold Landry in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. We're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Back to throw. Cook. This is caught by a 
Antonio Brown. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Cook throwing on first down. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Second and five. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 15-yard line. A lot of attention paid this week in practice to red zone offense. The coach was optimistic about how it went. We'll see. Hey, Jeff, get ready. To throw is Cook on first and 10. This is Cook. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They'll run for it with Martin. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Doug Martin with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power. And they... Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. They'll run on first down. Martin, they'll only get a couple up to about the 30. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Here's Jackson to return. 51 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Titan football. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Now Cook on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. He's going deep for Brown. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And they work this well up field across the 45. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, yeah. they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Here's Cook. Throwing again on second and ten. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Cook now operating from the gun. He's got a man. It's Williams. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. On first and ten. Cook. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here now is second and ten, again for the 41. Cook. Throwing again. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The tight end, Luke Wilson, was the target. But now it's third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. To throw is Cook. From the gun, he'll throw. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Here's Matt Dar now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Ten over. Now Cook, throwing on first down. He's going deep for Brown. This is caught inside the 15. A big play that time for the Raiders. 61 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Steps away to his left, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now a give right side. It's Martin. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They'll run, Martin. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Doug Martin with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Nice execution there. Good job by the old line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having it. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? Here we go. 18, Gator. Say what you meant. Here's Cook. On first and ten. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. 
Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Daquan Jones able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, that allows your blitzers to get there. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Let's go now. 60 Pittsburgh. Here we go. Check three, check three, check three. <laughs> they start the drive with Martin. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So that one will be accepted. Ready. Check, check, 59. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Ready. Looking to throw. Cook. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Back to throw. Cook. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Daquan Jones in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. A crazy sequence here. A huge gain that time, but it still leaves them well short for fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So now we have Jackson slow to get back on his feet. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. On first down, Martin. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Doug Martin, 29 yards. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they leave. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Crunch time, defense. Two. They'll run on first down. Martin. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Ready, ready. 30 base. So now we're in the final minute of the game of the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. On second down, Martin. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Ten Lobo. Showed up. Down to a knee, here goes Cook, and that should do it. 
Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone, and that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone. They don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field, congratulations to them. So for Oakland, they move back over 500 at 7-6. And, and they'll get another home date next week as the Jaguars will come to town. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, it's a potentially fatal blow to their playoff chances as they drop to 6-7 and seven on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves. Chappelle show this over any yo do this for my millennials I be murdering any flow I just had to let you know it's the young incredible honest the unforgettable you would joke like Chappelle show this over any yo start your week by installing your game plan yeah. I just had to let you know.